Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much for your great support that you always offer to this channel. Consider to like this video, subscribe to Zion Kenya TV and also drop your opinion at the comment section below after you've watched the video. Plus, I request you to share this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, your support on this channel have made it to grow bigger and I'm still congratulating you as I urge you to continue with the same spirit. Francis Atwoli, disasters and also misjudgment has been exposed. I was eagerly waiting for this man's speech immediately when I heard that Ruto is going to pay Western people a visit. Atwoli have exposed and raised his voice publicly by saying that no one will be defeat William Samoy Ruto when it's come to 2027 general election. Now in this video we are going to analyze what has made the court boss to drive such kind of information. It means that he has something or these people have votes already with them because we are not yet in 2027 general election. Let us listen to Francis Atwoli speaking in Ruto's rally, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the video on how Atwoli was speaking. Na mimi ni mzee wedu na muambia ukweli, na sitake kwa danganya. Hakuna mwaka wa elefu mbili na ishirini na saba muta kuambie atatoa huyu bwana ni ngumu na dio maneno bwana msali alikuwa na wauliza yeye tulijaribu kumweka nje Ad, alipita kwa sisi kama mtu anapita kwa shamba ile aina mai wacha tusimame hapo ikarika rio sisi sote tuwe kitu kimoja viongozi wa waluia viongozi wa waluia viongozi wa western wote wamekubaliana watafanya kasi pamoja nyuma ya mheshimiwa Ruto Asanda. Before I proceed on that video, if I may ask, why do you think Atoli is no longer fighting for the workers in the Republic of Kenya and Africa as a whole? It means he has lost the direction, he has lost the integrity under his administration. Because as of now, he was supposed to be on toes and questioning government on how they are mistreating workers. That is the truth. Now, from that video, Atwoli is speaking. We remember Atwoli, he was with, he was in Azimio, but immediately when Azimio lost election, he was captured by state. Now there are the people who are planning so and so is fit for the presidency, so and so is not fit for the president. Now, Francis Atwoli's message have caught my attention, ladies and gentlemen. From that video, I've just realized one thing. is that there's a political of deception. Where Atwoli have changed his tone, praising the president as if Ruto is God. Praising how Ruto defeated Azimio as if there will be no tomorrow. Praising Kenya Kwanza government as if they have worked faithfully to Kenyans. Praising Kenya Kwanza government as if there is nothing wrong happening in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, the country is going to a wrong direction. 2027 is a deal done. That one we know. And it means that Francis Atwoli have known what is on, in the, on the ground. So from that video, one, Atwoli is a betrayer. Number two, he has been captured by the President of Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoyedutu. Because if I may ask, Atwoli cannot defend workers, Atwoli cannot stand in public and rectify the government. Atwoli cannot defend himself 
even his own family. That is why he is now outside there to praise the president. It means he is just trying to defend the interest of his properties, not to be destroyed by the president. Because when you have reached an extent of now, seems to wo you worship human being, you forget your integrity, you forget what you are, you forget the people around you, you forget your family. So that is what Atwali is as at now. Then lastly, he has exposed that election has been rigged already. Because if you can stand in public saying that no one will defeat Ruto 2027, who told you that Kenyans are not watching what Kenya Kwanza are doing to them? If election is done today, mark my words, free and fair with a stronger competitor, Ruto is going home earlier. Take it to the nearest bank. Because Kenyans will come out with zeal and zest to revenge on how the government mistreated them on the first term. Let us not cheat ourselves, guys, that we are saying Kenya Kwanza have done this. I'm not in both Kenya Kwanza or in Azimio. But how Ruto have run the government in, the, in this one year period, it's a, it is a clear indication that he have lost election. So what Francis Atwell is saying, that unless the Venezuela factor will, will come back again. Ladies and gentlemen, from that video again, Atwoli is still trying to say that he is the one person being listened to in Western Kenya. Because he is trying to influence the people of Western Kenya and campaigning for the president. Lastly, it is a kind of ins uh, insultment that he is doing. You are listening to him saying, Kalonzo does not have office, Raila does not have office, Martha Karua does not have office. Uh, Wigley for Paranya does not have office. So it means he's the one who has an office. What of the president? Because right now Ruto is campaigning. The same way his deputy is campaigning. Raila is also campaigning. So these people are equal. Atwali is also campaigning. So... There is a political of deception, as I have said. I don't know what are your conclusion on this today's analysis. And if I may ask my last question, do you think Kenya is running into a right direction? With me, I doubt. I'm eagerly waiting for your comment, your, your opinion at the comment section below. But if you, this might be your first time at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel. I request you ladies and gentlemen just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe support this channel watch this video and also share this video personally i am fine and i believe that this video is going to reach you well wherever you are may you have a blessed hour as we hope to meet on another video thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for now that is what i had bye bye